the rule is that till you are Great not graduated market, yeah. don't step on the grass yes. yeah this is more like a tourist place rather yeah, than yeah. a university right this Some... is not that there are too many indian students no no here at university of glasgow <laughs> it is not like that you feel like you're studying still back in india students who are not in so good ranked universities they are saying that rank doesn't matter you are in a good ranked university and you are also saying that rank doesn't matter in my opinion <laughs> skills so do you, matter that is one of the reasons that you chose this university is it yeah. wow but this is like really beautiful no yeah. tell you guys that you know this is one of the russell group universities and we are going to be going inside and you know looking through the different parts of the university with jazz our uh, campus tour guide so if you guys are looking to come to uk please watch this whole video and before you go ahead subscribe to our channel so that you can stay connected and learn more about different countries and studying abroad if you are looking to study abroad then watch this full video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated hello everyone here we are in glasgow now uh, we are here uh, in front of a nice uh, kelvin grove art museum and uh, right behind we will have the university of glasgow and here we have our friend from india who's studying here can you please introduce yourself once hi uh, i am jaya i am from india i'm a student at a university of glasgow i'm pursuing electronics and management i would like to give a tour of my university and i will let you know what our university offers we are starting at a great point where is beautiful museum in the background uh, what is inside this museum this uh, yeah, museum is more about uh, it contains uh, fossils and art museum i have never been inside but uh, what i have seen was uh, there was a plane inside it was Special. Why did you never go? It's very close to your school. It was under maintenance. It, it just <laughs> opened very recently. Oh, okay, okay. So till now it was closed. Yeah. Also, oh, must be that they have some new exhibits. During the sunny time, people will just uh, lay down here. So as we go to the to your university, Jaya, just tell me a little bit about your background. You know, where are you from mm -hmm. in India? Okay. You know, what have you been doing? Uh, myself Jaya and uh, I am from Andhra Pradesh yeah. uh, and I completed my bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering back in Central University of Bilaspur. After that, I got uh, slightly the motivation uh, towards electronics core. During COVID was uh, like uh, the semiconductor industry started uh, booming. So the uh, recruiters are uh, more towards uh, semiconductor uh, engineers or uh, something, uh, some sort of VLSI. Yeah. Uh, so I got a little uh, interest towards the VLSI. Mm -hmm. So which is basically it's towards the chip designing. Yeah. So I have gone through a six month course after my graduation. After that, I landed a job and I worked for one year mm. as a physical design engineer okay. before I was a trainee there. Later, uh, I just thought uh, a master's degree would just promote myself. Like yeah. I'm just working as a, a junior physical design engineer. But uh, with the uh, help of the master's degree, so I think uh, I thought of uh, having some uh, advantage of in the positions. So I just uh, came here. Uh, I just went through the plan of the master's. Mm -hmm. So the first I choose the uh, UK over other countries is because the duration of the master's uh, I wanted master's degree but uh, yeah. I don't want to uh, invest a lot of time as well. Okay, coming back to this university, uh, modules which they are offering were exactly uh, where I am towards to. So the semiconductor physics, so everything what I have to learn, I have just learned here. Yeah. Even there is a James Watt macro nano fabrication in this university, in this UK, first nano fabrication center here. Okay. So you can uh, research a lot, you can work a lot. This is the only chip manufacturer, I can, you can just uh, work on just yeah. on chips and everything. But did this you is the know all place. of this before you came here or did yeah, you uh, come I, and find out uh, about it? I, I myself researched yeah. about the UK hmm. universities and I just went back through every course curriculum of the universities. I do know before coming here. So as my field is related to VLSI and there's a JWNC, I asked them to uh, give me a project related to that. Right. So now I'm uh, doing the MSc project on the same domain where I have want to. So you are uh, now using that uh, chip uh, manufacturing machine yeah. that you yeah. are talking about. Now that you are here in Glasgow, we landed in a bus station, then mm -hmm. we took a bus here. It is slightly outside the city isn't okay. it how do you find studying here how's your study experience been how's the faculty it was a quite normal as other uk universities offer in this college the strength is more mm. you can find a minimum strength of 230 240 students on a single class uh, education is quite very good here they do provide the recorded lectures in this mm. university so investing yourself in the library by using the tutorials which have given by the professor mm -hmm. would lead us a uh, good marks but uh, keeping the marks aside if you want to grow your skills on your by own mm -hmm. professor himself in the every uh, lecture starting of the lecture he used to provide some books mm -hmm. for reference so you may you can just uh, go through the books it's depend on totally depend uh, on you so you're saying you can if, the more you want to learn there are more and more resources available yeah, yeah. so you can attend the class then you can do the tutorials that is good enough for marks but there are more references available yeah, the if yeah. you can uh, do that then you will learn even more 
Yeah, that's it. Now you said that your class is very huge, 200 plus students. Mm -hmm. Are most of the students from India? No, most of the students I found are Chinese. Mm -hmm. Out of uh, like uh, I'm having a subject called Micro Nano. Mm -hmm. So in that out of the enrolled students were 232 exactly. Mm -hmm. 200 among them were Chinese. Okay. So the rest of 32, I found four or five Indians of okay. them. That's it. The remaining are Malaysia, Singapore. Okay. So some are So this from... is not that there are too many Indian students. No, no. The... Here at University of Glasgow. We, we can find but not too many. So it's a more Chinese students are here but yeah. otherwise there is a you know a broader mix of students it is not like that you feel like you're studying still back in India and this college is mainly famous for the medical after medical engineering ranking the most so medical if you want to do the medical school mm -hmm. or also the programs which are related to the medical fields are they also supposed to be good here this university is well known for uh, medical in this uh, country there are two exams so you have to clear mm -hmm. so to get into this two it does ranks uh, among the top 150 in the engineering so overall it it does rank 78 as rank doesn't matter in my opinion <laughs> skills so do you, matter that is one of the reasons that you chose this university isn't yeah. it that you found that this uh, rank is was it's uh, old top 100 something yes. I just I just went to that but I, uh, later I just figured out that it's all depend, depending on your skills mm -hmm. That's it. Not not about the university rank. Yeah, because sometimes a lot of students say that, you know, students who are not in so good ranked universities, they are saying that rank doesn't matter. You are in a good ranked university and you are also saying that rank doesn't matter. Your skills will matter. How much you have learned, how much you can demonstrate your practical experience and skills is what going to get you yeah. your career, your future here. But there is no other college which, which would provide me this level of practical yeah. in my semiconductor yeah. physics field. Yeah. That's a plus why I choose uh, this university over other. So here you can see the main building. Wow, this looks like a set of Harry Potter, no? Yeah, uh, many people <laughs> think it's a uh, Harry Potter thing, but that movie didn't shoot it here. <laughs> the view from the front would be fantastic. Yeah, this is more like a tourist place rather yeah, than yeah. a university, right? This is the same university we were seeing from, yeah, from the uh, road. From the road yeah. I will just take you guys from the front. Usually two classes, uh, you will lead to the side box. So it will be way shorter. So in this main building, what is there inside the so building? So inside the building, there is a one uh, museum which is uh, related to the college itself. There yeah. is a museum inside and the other buildings, everything are of classes, huge classes. So, so this even is there very is a, much in use, this building. It's yeah, not yeah. like a, just for show. They have done the renovations as well. During the winters, when I was here, okay, evening 4 or 5, they used to lit the lights. Uh -huh. uh, whole building used to just lit in pink, nice. yellow, blue, something. Now it's sun all day, so there, <laughs> there are no lights anymore. So this is a park where people will hang around. Yeah. If you want to study, you can just find a shadow yeah. and people will study here. Yeah. As it's not exam time, we couldn't find anybody <laughs> or else uh, they will just bring their snacks. Yeah. Evening uh, and there used to be one uh, projector. Mm -hmm. So they will play some Shakespeare movies as well. Uh, so people will just who want to see the movies, they will enjoy. They here. will enjoy here. So yeah. it's a common place. Just being outdoors uh, for students to enjoy this whole university experience. Sure, yeah. This university, I think mainly it's for, known for like clubs. There yeah. are 300 societies are clubs. Even there is an Indian society, Hindu yeah. society. Okay. Uh, so like that, everything uh, like uh, during the last Eid, yeah. students held a uh, dinner collectively together. Mm -hmm. So the community, everything was fine here. So you have a lot of groups and societies to so, keep it fun for you to be able to network with each other. Yeah. Wow, but this is like really beautiful, no? Yeah. So back there, that was a building I was talking about. Yeah. So uh, no, out of not allowed, uh, not allowed in that. Yeah. So we have to wear separate. Uh outfit and we have to you know in front of this beautiful building we also want to tell you guys that you know this is one of the russell group universities and we are going to be going inside and you know looking through the different parts of the university with jay as our uh, campus tour guide and he'll be also sharing more about his journey and his experience and what he's thinking how is he planning to build his career forward so if you guys are looking to come to uk please watch this whole video and before you go ahead subscribe to our channel so that you can stay connected and learn more about different countries and studying abroad. Can we go inside here? Can yeah, we you can check just, it out? Yeah, but yeah. It, it would be convenient if we enter if from, from that side. side. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think it's a beautiful day. Uh, mm. You know, in the backdrop of the blue sky, the building looks up like double amazing. Yeah, it's a very yeah. huge building until yeah. unless you just came here. So guys, let's take a small pause and let me tell you that I counsel hundreds of students looking to study abroad every month. And I am here to help you guys, not just with understanding your profile, which country or university is the best one for you, but help you through the admission process. And me and my team will get you your visa on time. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one counseling session with me, please go into the description. There is a link 
to my Calendly and you can book a one-on-one -on -one slot with me. And let's get back to our video now. Is this also a place where your graduation ceremony happens? Yeah, uh, it happens inside of the building. I, I will even show you that. It's yeah. called a butte hall. So even the graduation happens inside, inside the university. This building. You will get uh, some set of musicians uh, yeah. in front of you. Uh -huh. So you will just go in like in a canoe convoy some feeling. Yeah. yeah, your time is still a little away. So you will surely okay. be getting that experience. Like there is a north entry and south entry. Yeah. The middle main gate which will lead to some museum. It yeah. was also something in under maintenance so and coming about this grass they used to tell don't step on this grass until you graduated okay so we are just uh, you can see there the girl sitting in the graduation dress yes it's yellow means it's under graduation so uh, there is a graduation ceremony will happen over here so graduation ceremony happens over here yeah uh, they will just uh, make a setup here on the white white tent yeah so then only you are uh, Hello to step on the grass. So you are saying that the rule is that till you are Grad not graduated, not yeah. don't step on the grass. Yes, and yeah. these are all the hall or classes. Yeah. It divided into like two floors. Yeah. That's it. And in the ground floors, mostly probably you have a smaller classrooms. Mm -hmm. And in the higher floor, you will have a hall. Which, Halls, yeah. uh, which can accommodate more students. Yeah. So this part is of everything of engineering. So whatever classes are most probably are engineering classes. So they are mostly engineering department Student, students yeah. are going to be here. So view of the college would be better from here, from there to there. So what goes on in, in that tower over there? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Don't even light. Uh, they, they will just uh, show some lights, that's it. Yeah. But it looks good. Yeah. I think there are more tourists here than students right yeah. now, given that it is a holiday. Even tourists do come here. Yes. We often see them. Let's just go yeah. around the other side of the... So do you also usually hang out around in this area? Yeah, I usually I eat my lunch here okay. on the bench. Yeah. I will just uh, sit over here. Yeah. Because my lecture will uh, end like 9 to 1. The other yeah. lecture will start from 2. Yeah. In that hour, uh, I will just uh, sit somewhere over mm. here. Um, I don't know the name specifically of this uh, mm -hmm. replica, but it was too good. During Diwali, they will just lit every pillar, oh, wow. every uh, thing. So you can found everything symmetrical and everything. And this was dedicated to the slaves, if I'm not wrong. Many photo shoots will go around here. Yeah. But this is a must place to visit to during visit. Diwali. Ah, during Diwali. Diwali. Yeah. And here, one of my class, I will just go on here. Yeah. So I will just have a seat here and I will have the lunch. Uh, it's very convenient, like it's because your classes are also happening here. And uh, I will show you the museum. If it is open, just we can walk around in the museum. And the Butte Hall, uh, this is a graduation hall. So right up there, it's a Butte Hall. Mm -hmm. So graduation ceremonies will be happening in the tower. And below was the robing room. Ah, where, that that uh, was closed. I don't know that won't. Yeah. Uh, so for now, we can't go to the beauty hall, but we can go to the museum. So this is the beauty hall otherwise. Yeah, this is the beauty hall. Which is closed right uh, which now. Which is closed right now. So the beauty hall also looks like this. So it has a yeah. similar ceiling. No, it, it was kind of different and uh, it was more traditional. No. No, we're just uh, doing like a small vlog. Um, lots of our items are under copyright. Right. Um, so I'm not sure if you'd be able to like film without permission. We're really sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, you can, can film outside. Yeah. Um, and you can film like facing the door, obviously. Right. But just make sure you don't get any of the objects or any of the sure. like graphics and stuff. Graduation hall. You can actually see a little bit. So there are chairs. <laughs> CJ is a spy. So this all looks great and everything, but it has a dirty past mm -hmm. also associated with it. This college doesn't care about you got a successful product or not. Yeah. It will just ask why you failed, where you failed and what can be the precaution uh, to just... Uh, Basically, what are your learnings from uh, it even if you failed? I mean, what is important is that what did you learn out of it? That's the thing this college focus on. Yeah. We, so what is the smart working system? It was like a aid for like blind people or uh, deaf people. Did you have anything like that in India? It's a solid no, but uh, yeah. during my bachelor's, there was like a lab sessions which were totally useless. I don't <laughs> want to admit like that, but they didn't lead me to learn anything. Yeah. So if you like this content, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you all in the next video.